rushed to the rescue caught on camera. Dash cam footage shows drivers racing to help after a fiery crash in St. Paul. But it is that Minnesotan wearing orange who made all the difference. He talked to WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell tonight about how a single tool helps save a man's life. Dramatic video from Kadir Tola's Tesla camera captures the frantic moment drivers run to help save a man trapped inside his car, engulfed in flames. Well, that was the craziest moment of my life. With the guardrail in the way, Tola and the group of Good Samaritans desperately tried to pry the doors open and break the window. The worst thing could happen, I'll probably get burned a little bit or, you know, get injured a little bit, but uh, that man could literally lose his life. But it wasn't until a MnDOT first driver showed up with a tool that could shatter the glass that they were able to pull the driver to safety with just seconds to spare. Get him out. It's the only thing going through my head. Dave Clapeda. To me, it, it, it's just doing my job. Just happened to be patrolling the area. Everyone just stepped up and just did it. It wasn't training. It was just being in the right place at the right time. Good showing of humanity. I think so. And it's on all of our keychains and all of our trucks. He credits a tool known as a window punch. Basically, the black end goes up against the car window, and that little punch comes out and breaks the window. The driver they saved says he only has minor injuries, writing it was incredibly heroic. Fred Rogers used to say that whenever someone sees something scary, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. Fred Rogers. We showed Clapeda the good news. Instance like this, yeah, it's nice to know that he's doing okay. In his 10 years as a MnDOT first driver, he says this rescue is one he'll never forget. I love this job. <laughs> I do. We're out here just helping people. In St. Paul, get on their way. Kirsten Mitchell. And saving lives, too. And saving lives, too. WCCO <laughs> News.